Congratulations on the purchase of your Lion training product. Unpack all parts. Inspect the product and accessories. Don't mix up the attack power cable assembly with the Hyperfire attack power cables. You need to order one cable per attack and can connect up to nine panels at once. Place the Hyperfire in a dry location to avoid water damage. Plug the Hyperfire power cable into the back of the unit. Plug the other end of the power cable into the wall outlet. Connect the power cable to the back of the attack. Align the triangle features on the connector and the plug. Push the connector into the plug. You will hear a click when the connector latches onto the hook. Determine the size and shape of your array. Secure the wall mounts to the wall or set the weighted bases and fill them with water. The attack system can be connected to any of the nine ports on the Hyperfire. They will be arranged into position with the configuration software. Turn on the Hyperfire by flipping the red toggle switch to the on position. Using an iOS tablet or any iOS compatible device, connect to the Hyperfire Wi-Fi network. If you purchase the tablet through Lion, a shortcut link will be on your home screen. If you use your device, open a web browser and type hyperfire.local into the address bar. Select Class of Fire Mode Difficulty Smoke Density Set Simulation Width and Height of the Panels Start Grid Configuration by selecting Identify Attacks. Numbers will be displayed on each panel. Select the location for each panel. When all panel locations have been finalized, select Save Configuration Test or navigate to the full control interface. If you are training with smoke, turn on the SG4000 in a Wi-Fi transport case. The Wi-Fi transport case connects to the Hyperfire wirelessly.